Tips and Tricks for Using Cricut Design Space Tip 1. Upload Pattern Step 1. In Design Space go over to Upload and select Pattern Fill. Step 2. Click Browse and search the pattern design. Step 3. Go ahead and name the pattern select a color and click Upload. Step 4. Once uploaded you will not find the uploaded pattern in the recent upload section. Step 5. To access the recently uploaded pattern from the canvas go to text. Step 6. Click font drop down then search and select a font to use. Step 7. Type out a text click operation drop down and select print then cut. Step 8. Click the color box in the operation panel and select pattern from the print type drop down. Step 9. Click filter select the color you selected for the uploaded pattern and you'll find the uploaded pattern here. Tip 2. Bookmark font. Step 1. Click text and select font drop down. Step 2. Go to the System tab then search for a font that you use often to bookmark it. Step 3. To bookmark the font all you have to do is click the bookmark icon. Step 4. Now go to the bookmark tab and you should be able to locate the font you just bookmarked. Tip 3. Weeding Box. Step 1. Once you have the design ready go to Shapes and select a square. Step 2. Size the square a little bigger than the design and place it on top. Step 3. With the square selected go to the Arrange drop-down and select Send to Back. Step 4. Unlock the square then reposition and resize it. Step 5. Select both layers and click Attach on the bottom right side of the screen. Step 6. This will make the weeding process a lot easier. Tip 4. Create new material settings. Step 1. In Design Space click the three lines on the top left side of the screen and click Manage Custom Materials. Step 2. Scroll down to the bottom and click Add New Material. Step 3. You can also set up new material settings from the presets. Step 4. Go into Browse All Materials scroll down and click Material Settings then scroll to the bottom and click Add New Material. Step 5. Add a name for the material you want to create and click Save. Step 6. Then change the pressure settings set the number of times to cut and change the blade. Step 7. Once you have set everything click Save. Tip 5. Share your projects. Step 1. First go to the My Projects library. Step 2. Click on the little arrow button on the bottom left side of the design. Step 3. It'll ask you to add photos of the project click Add Photos. Step 4. Add some pictures of the project you've created and add a description. Step 5. Once done click Save. For more such help and information, visit us at www.mannymaker.com or call us at plus 1 786 866 5932 plus 44 020 3983 0480.